for some context too. So uh, did you, did you start as a global marketplace or were you kind of constrained as far as when it comes to locations or geographies? Yeah. So that's, I think something that's, there's, there's a lot of things that are like strange about Cambly, strange and interesting about, about our company. I think one of the, one of the first things that comes to mind here is, is that, you know, our, you know, I talked about our experience learning other languages and that was the inspiration for the, for the product. Um, but, you know, we realized that English is just like much, much bigger problem in the world. And to give you a sense of that, like there's 7.58 billion people in the world. There's uh, 6 billion people who don't know English. So it, it's this like, enormous problem in the world. Like that's the market. And, and by the way, of those 6 billion, about 1.5 billion are actively trying to learn um, English right now. Uh, and so huge, huge market. Um but not a problem that like, I think what's really interesting but it's not a problem that uh, probably any of us really see every day, right? Like we speak English. Uh, I assume if you're on this chat and you're listening to me, you probably speak English. Um, and, and not just that, like we don't just speak English and I've never experienced this problem personally, but odds are you may not know anyone who has this problem. And so it gives you the sense that like, it's actually not this big, that big of a problem in the world because we're, we're English speakers uh, and we don't have it ourselves. But but you know, I talked about my experience learning Spanish or my co-founder's experience learning French. Learning English is very different from learning other languages. Like, you know, the for, for people that are trying to learn English, it is it will fundamentally change their life if they could just learn uh, learn English. We get like unlock immense economic opportunity, you get a job they wouldn't be able to get otherwise, travel, uh, you know, move to a country they would have a better life. Uh, access to information, I think, is a really uh, big one out, you know, where like we, we kind of take for granted that like there's all this information in English and, you know, we have ready access to it. But if you don't know English and you only know, you know, Arabic or Portuguese or, or whatever else, like there's just less information out there for you. And so um, coming back to your question, OK, how did, when we were getting started, we quickly realized that, hey, this is not a problem that we can market to, you know, people like us and, you know, our friends like they don't have this challenge. Like. So we we very much had to be like international from day one. And like um, that was challenging, right? Because like it was unlike anything I'd ever worked on before where like, you know, the first version of the product was localized in like 10 different languages, right? Like, uh, you know, and by definition, our customers didn't speak English, right? Those are the people we're going after. And so uh, you can't just like build an, an English interface and say, cool, like why aren't all these people who don't know English showing up and using this thing, right? And so uh, I think there was, you know, we had to take a pretty different approach. And so, uh, yeah, we were, you know, we were very much international from from day one. We kind of put the product out there and we saw where what parts of the world did, did people start to show up. 